thank you for joining the session. Uh, my name is Fasila. Um, this is the work I have done with Dr. Usman Nassim from Macquarie University, Australia. Um, I'm here today presenting the uh, our research titled Decoding Means, a comprehensive analysis of late and early fusion models for explainable meme analysis. So what are memes? Memes have become integral part of online culture. They have been shared rapidly and they uh, convey different emotions or uh, opinions, social, as a tear and social, uh, social uh, opinions and they influence trends. Analyzing memes as have become critical because they they convey not not only um, humor or opinions. Sometimes they include toxic content in like offensiveness, hate speech. Also, they um, they spread false informations. Hence, this area has been researched nowadays um, in the existing literature. Due to the multimodal uh, nature of meme data, that is, meme contains both visual and textual data. Um, we have um, the existing literature uses different kind of fusions, and most common out of them them are late and early fusion. A late fusion actually joins um, the representation from bo uh, different modal both modalities at the beginning and then classify to detect meme sentiment or meme uh, content. Whereas in late fusion, um, each modality is processed individually and then and the result is uh, classified and processed to get the uh, final conclusion. In, in this research, um, our motiva motivation is to compare uh, these two methods and see which one is uh, better in terms of uh, different tasks. And also this uh, research um, carried out explainability analysis on these two methods on the, on the uh, used data set. So for this experiments, we have used Memotion data set. In Memotion data set, we have um, um, five tasks or sentiments. They are motivation, humor, and offensive sarcasm, and and also the overall sentiment. And the um, while motivation is a motivation task is considered as a binary classification, the other four tasks are multi-class classification. And these um, tasks are compared using both early and late fusion. When it comes to method, let's first see how early fusion and this paper works. So we have used pre-trained um, uh, vision, mod pre vision models and language models to extract features and then ca uh, carried out the classification. So in early fusion, uh, we used vision model to extract which are from the uh, images and then using language model, we extract beddings from the, uh, the text content of the uh, meme, da meme data. And these features were then fused using concatenation and passed to the classifier to classify the sentiment behind each meme in each task. Whereas in late fusion, um, the extracted features from each modality is the classified first, and the classification probability is then combined to form the next next stage input to the classifier in order to carry out the final sentiment analysis. For the for this experiment, we have used as mentioned. We used pre-trained models and other class, um, ML classifiers. For vision, 
in order to extract fe vision features, we have used VGG16 and BIT. Whereas for, for, no, for uh, text feature extraction, we have used BERT, Albert, and Digital BERT. And these extracted features were classified in both models, that is in early fusion and late fusion using XGBoost and Random Forest to compare the performance of both methods. The method performance was reported using accuracy, F1 score, precision, and recall. So here is here are the results. This are the, uh, the plots which compares the F F1 score of each method for each task. So when um, in here the maroon bars indicates. Uh, the early fusion using using the random forest classifier, whereas green is for late fusion using uh, RF classifier. The yellow one indicates early fusion using X, um, XG boost, and blue one using uh, late fusion using XG boost. So in in more in all these tasks. We, we can see in general, the late fusion is, has outperformed early fusion. In, in both scenarios, whether it is using um, a random forex classifier or XGBoost, all the combinations with, uh, with the um, um, vision features and text features, all the six combinations, that is VGG with uh, BERT, Albert, and Stillbert and VIT with Bert, Albert, and Silbert. All the six uh, scenarios, most a majority or, or mostly the trend is to, to uh, is that the late fusion outperformed the uh, early fusion. So once once after um, after carrying out the um, sentiment analysis, the next step was to conduct explainability analysis on these uh, methods. This figure shows one of the uh, one of the scenarios that is VGG plus BERT in both in early and late fusion. It can be seen that um, in early fusion. Um, when when you take the first 10 um, features of major, I mean, dominant features in early fusion the text features are um, more prominent than um, the uh, VG, I mean, vision features whereas in um, in uh, late fusion we both feature both vision and uh, text features are equally distributed not only that that there has been there is a difference uh, how each class has been um, influenced by uh, whether it is vision features or uh, uh, text features. For example, in early fusion, the neutral feature, the neutral class class has been um, mostly influenced or uh, by the bird features. Whereas when it comes to vision, the late fusion, the same class is mostly. Uh, influenced by the VGG features, unlike an early fusion. The similar way, when when VIT, the transmission transformer features were combined with BERT, uh, the v, uh, in early fusion, but uh, um, in when VIT is used, um, the uh, VIT has influence. I mean, uh, VIT has influence on all the classes are more uh, uh, dominance than the uh, VIT features has more dominance than the uh, text features. So in order to summarize, we can see that um, in meme analysis, visual and textual features are combined uh, to understand the sentiment behind uh, its and it can be clear seen from the experiments that late fusion has outperformed early fusion um, across with variant sentiment scenarios. And 
the explainability actually underscores importance of uh, refining features. That is, in the current experiments, we have used only the pre-trained -pre models. So uh, it can be actually extended um, or further improved using uh, um, including more fine tuning or retraining. And also uh, since this is um, uh, multimodal, uh, it's a multimodal problem basically, it can be uh, further explored using uh, multi or vision, la vision language models and also um, including uh, or exploring more uh, more different other kinds of uh, fus fusion scenarios like other than early and uh, late fusion. Um, thank you for uh, listening to me.